Hey everyone, CNC HD here and welcome back to Command and Conquer Zero Hour. In today's video we are going to look more deeply into a match between Zars and uh, General Colonel. And we do have the new General here on the bottom side in orange color, played by General Colonel. And on the top we do have Zars, also known as Zonic, and he's from the Russian community and today playing as the GLA Vanilla red color. So red versus orange, GLA Vanilla versus Nuke. Let's see what both players are doing. We have a late tunnel here in the middle and um, two supplies, a standard build for the GLA and the new general going also for two supplies, no aggressive barracks in the middle. So very defensive play here um, from both players. Now the tunnel is going up a bit late. Um, Zars did build two RPGs, not going for the terrorists, Players usually like to play uh, with t early terrorists, but he is going for free RPGs, which I do not really understand, as uh, you could just throw down tunnels, is I think quicker to build and just $200 more expensive than just building RPGs. Uh, I, I tend to build tunnels instead of building RPGs, but um, maybe he has some good strategy in mind. Here's the tunnel on the left next to the oil, this worker is just chilling there. Two war factories went up for the nuke player, very standard stuff to see from a China player. A nuke battlemaster coming in now from the right, a tunnel just, uh, no not tunnel, a demo trap. So I think that demo trap is going to deny that battlemaster as it's well placed there directly in the middle of that path and the battlemaster will just directly face that demo trap, demo trap detonates and battlemaster goes boom and the worker even survives. So good play there by Zars. Okay, tunnel went up, no garrison here on the bunker. Um, we do see an um, RPG technical um, dropping three RPGs, only losing one. The scrap up is there, dragon tank coming in, toasting one RPG. Um, technical can escape and will pick off that dozer if um, it is not being denied by the Battlemaster. Battlemaster coming in, blowing up these three RPGs, nicely played there. Killing them all, another Battlemaster coming and killing the worker and uh, no interception there and now there are two RPGs coming in but they are too late, um, that one even might die to the radiation but no he's just surviving there, Scorpion coming in. Um, okay, General Colonel now sees that Zars is trying to go for the oil grab, he should smell that um, there's a rebel coming on the left. If you see one rebel, you usually can expect two rebels going to both oils. Scorpion and Dragon had a little fight there, but Dragon survived due to the support of the two battle masters, and the Dragon is now going to toast that tunnel. The RPG stands no chance against that tunnel, needs to be cancelled, and there's the cancel, $800 saved. Only losing the worker and our RPG there. Okay, little aggression happening here, the dragon tank very hurt and is going to get destroyed there, but wait, it's surviving with one health point and there's no interception coming out of this tunnel, so Battlemasters and Dragon can destroy that tunnel successfully and that barracks is now going to get exposed and will get destroyed. Dragon is being picked off by the Scorpion, nicely done there by Zars, uh, doing a little drop action here with uh, the Scorpion. Three more Battlemasters coming in for the support, uh, enough Battlemaster went down and that Scorpion also went down. Uh, we now can see a grab here of the Oilderic for Zars. Uh, like I say, General Colonel knows about that and uh, he's going to lose one Battlemaster trying to deny that capture but he was not successful. Dragon now tries its luck, will get picked off but will successfully deny that oil grab which was very important as the oil gives a lot of cash to the opponent. Okay, Battlemaster being blown up, Dragon being blow, uh, destroyed, but it looks like the tunnel is going to be being picked off, but before that the Battlemasters are going to get picked off. And um, we do see three more Battlemasters coming in from the top, one very hurting. Tunnel is going down, two RPGs, one Scorpion being uh, deployed there. And a uh, big butter boom and the tunnel goes down and uh, 
to Red Guards coming in. Also with the um, capture upgrade. Okay, now that the tunnel is down, um, General Colonel will support this attack with three more Battlemasters. Will be able to take down that little fortress here. Another dragon coming in, toasting a few more units. The tunnel is going up, but will be denied by the dragon. And there's the destruction of the tunnel. Um, very hurting Red Guard going over to take on uh, over that Oilderek. While the uh, Oilderek on the right already belongs to uh, Zars. Okay, Dragon being destroyed there due to the Scorpion. And Supply Stash also picked off here by uh, General Colonel. Another tunnel here going up on the right. Those are coming in on the left, going to try capture these supplies. But he needs very good protection here on the left, as this left side is a very heavily um, attacked due to, um, by both players. So he needs heavy support here for that exposed dozer. Well, there's the supply center. Propaganda center now going up for General Colonel at the 6 minute mark. So not super late and also not super early, just standard propaganda build. Also supply stage on the right going up for SARS. So both players now taking on the middle with the supply gathering. Okay, we do see five Battlemasters with Horde Bonus in the middle. Horde Bonus is very effective for China units, but these Battlemasters will also be very easily being picked off by these scorpions. We already see two being picked off. The horde bonus is gone. Another one is being picked off. But on the other hand, Zars already uh, losing a few scorpions there. Um, also, I mean, also losing a few scorpions there. And uh, General Colonel wins that fight. Is going to deny that tunnel, but there is a garrison, but with only one worker inside. And another worker here on the left. So both workers will get picked off there. Dragon toasting that bunker, we can see two quads coming in on the right. They will run into an overlord and that is the alarm signal for Zonic that, um, uh, so for SARS, that the propaganda center went up that mm, Lotos can get expected and then overlords and ECMs are on the battlefield. So, um, a red alert for uh, Zo uh, for Zars right there. So, and he immediately throws down the palace to get the tech, to get the German against that overlord tank. We do see the overlord tank uh, raping a few tanks, the dragon killing the supply stash. The palace was denied and the second supply of Zars is under pressure and Zars needs to do something. He's not throwing down another palace, but instead building up a second arm stealer. Um, was already built up, I mean. He is sitting on only two supplies, so funding two arm stealers is a bit difficult, but then he has the oil direct, so it's okay to pump out units out of two arm stealers. Okay, Battlemasters getting through the tunnel will get destroyed, but we do see a pop, and a pop will destroy the Battlemaster, but Zars needs to be very careful, not losing too many Scorpions, and no Scorpion goes down, but that was very, very close. We see a tunnel going up here on the bottom left, the oil direct will be in danger, and that supply center is extremely exposed to both, uh, to the aggression of the opponent. Okay, that supply stash went down, the tunnel is surviving and these scorpions will be no match for these overlord tanks. No Gatling turret on these overlords, surprisingly, and we do not have the subliminal messaging upgrade yet. We have a big aggression here on the bottom side, the barracks is going to get destroyed, the tunnel is going to be thrown down for the proxy pop and... Um, there's no unit here to defend that, the dragon is very far away. We do see a Lotus coming in for the oil grab. These overlords are also very, very far away. So that bottom left base is going to get destroyed. That dragon is not going to do anything. I wonder why he even built that thing there. Overlord coming in will not be able to destroy these four scorpions and three RPGs. There's not even a Gatling turret there, just an ECM to... Um, 
deflect the missiles. We can see on the top that these two overlords are t attacking the arms dealer. Um, not much here from Zas to deal with that. There's also no palace yet to have a uh, German Kel. So both players doing kind of a base race right now. But we do see a bomber coming in. And bomber destroys all units. And only... And almost the supply stash. So nice defend there with the bomber. So... Zas now under heavy pressure here with the T uh, with the two overlords in his base, maybe picking off one of them because the uh, ECM is doing a poorly job at uh, deflecting the missiles. Oh, even both overlords might go down. Oh, that might be a huge loss for General Colonel. The oil direct now belongs to General Colonel. Wow, just wasting these two overlords. Whew, that one overlord could have been saved. Instead, he threw it into the armies there. Um, it was kind of a waste, to be honest. Giving the enemy free promotion. We do see more tanks coming in. These could have been a nice support for the very hurt overlord. He throws in another Battlemaster into the trash can. Ah. Okay, a tunnel is being attacked. Supply center going up again for General Colonel. Okay, little house fight here. Um, still very exposed supply gathering in the middle. We do see a supply stash here going to be thrown down. Artillery barrage coming in. Just one random overlord attacking the base of Zars. Really do not like that play there of uh, General Colonel. Command center now going up. Artillery barrage hitting that uh, second supply stash, killing all works there. And as expected, the overlord is going down, and that was a huge waste for General Colonel right there. Wasting so many overlords. Okay, supply so stage got, got toasted. I do not know if he cancelled that. If he didn't, he lost 1500 right there. All being recaptured by uh, General Colonel, and uh, Lotus almost getting killed there by the rebel. Okay, the very exposed middle supply center being attacked here by two quads, two RPGs, only one dragon there to defend that. Um, it will not be enough to stop that. Another supply stage going up in the middle. Oil direct still belongs to General Colonel, but Zas is now going to take care of that. Although tank dealing with these incoming forces with ease. Um, seems like General Colonel really do not like the subliminal messaging upgrade and the Gatling turret. I mean, the supplemental messaging upgrade only costs 500, so I really do not understand why he's not building that thing. Very um, strange play there by General Colonel. Okay, there's still no palace being uh, put up. Dragon being destroyed there. Command center is up. Two arm stealers up for Zars. Uh, we can see that Zars on 1300 has a bit of map control. Um, as a GLA player and General Colonel on 1500 is losing his middle supply now and is throwing a bomber on the middle supply stash of the opponent and I think the supply stash might survive that attack and yes it's going to survive even the tunnel survives so that was a poor bomber right there being wasted right there those are down not even trying to save that dozer. A um, bit sloppy there by General Colonel. Getting to it here for the uh, defense, overload for the defense. Um, I wonder if both units will be enough to take that down. I think they might be able to do damage uh, to more overlords. Finally, a Gatling turret in the middle. An ECM to support the attack against the, uh, against the bunker. Okay, Overlord is doing some kiting right there, nicely uh, done, and he's also going to get repaired, but uh, being sloppy right there, losing that thing, only destroying one scorpion, now losing the propaganda center, that looks like the GG already here for General Colonel, supply stage going up for Zars in the middle, and propaganda center went down. Overlords now coming in. Zars clearly sees that. Um, three overlords now here on the battlefield. And these scorpions now being picked off. Not destroying that war factory. Killing one overlord. Ooh, General Colonel losing so many overlords. Unnecessarily. 
here. We do have one oil for each opponent, uh, for each player. And the Black Lotus here in the base of um, uh, Zars now being detected and killed due to that Raider Van. Oh, but it's surviving! He is force firing on the ground. Uh, Lotus can escape. Uh, the Scorpion Rocket was just not there to kill Lotus. A nice cash hack here, stealing 2000 cash of its opponent, uh, of his opponent. So that is another overload there for um, General Colonel if he had the propaganda center, of course. Both players still have the oil rack. There's a f long range mining going on here uh, from two supply stashes. I do not really know what he's planning to do there with two supply stations on the right middle. Not entirely sure what he's doing there. Nice big pop on the right. There's no defense. That war factory is going to get destroyed. And still no palace for Zars. Command center going up again. And uh, yeah, where's the palace? He has 3,700 cash. Where is... 8,000 cash! What the crap! Nice bomber again, killing all the units. All of these units. Where was the X-Key, Zars? X-Key. Uh, 8,000 cash. What the... Crap, what is he doing? What is he doing with all that cash? 9,000 cash. We are coming close to 10k. Propaganda center is up again and barracks going up maybe for the Lottos. We're cleaning these mines and that supply stash is going to get destroyed. And there is the palace finally at the 17 minute mark. You do see an artillery barrage but I, I think it's going to hit um, this right there and not a palace. Actually we can check and yes it's going to hit right there. I do not think it will destroy anything, no, just killing a few workers, not really worth um, the effort. That bunker will immediately going down, not even, yeah, uh, just taking a few single shots on a worker, so a big waste right there. Um, all these buildings under attack now uh, due to this attack, um, the tunnel going to be thrown down, mine drop here for uh, oh, an EMP even. So EMP there for General Colonel but there is just nothing there to destroy these units so EMP wasted right there as he does not have anything to destroy these units. Um, maybe the Alderic will finally go down, we will see. Uh, he's just chilling there. Maybe he wants to capture it. Who knows. Throwing down a few mines there. These Scorpions and the Quad will go down. Uh, selling these buildings now, uh, wise decision there for General Colonel, as uh, they would have been destroyed anyway. Black Lord is chilling there in the back, um, not capturing the oil rack as it's too dangerous. Uh, not really. I, I think she could try now running directly into the tunnel. I think she will get detected. Ah, and now she's getting detected. Zars now knows what's coming and he will throw down a radar van. Um, to detect that be uh, beast. Okay, Overlord's on the right side doing some damage, taking out that uh, tunnel. Palace not being garrisoned, so that will be an easy pick off for General Colonel. Um, the tunnel is there, there are zero units inside. And yeah, I think that Palace will go down for sure. Oldrick was destroyed, that Oldrick is still alive. Um, yeah, palace under attack. Yeah, that thing is going down. So uh, sad to see that that palace, after going up after 70 minutes, is now getting destroyed without putting out a single unit. There's the raider van, but no unit to kill that Lotus. Barracks being thrown down, but um, Lotus is not getting stopped by that. She's now disabling the raider van. He never cash hack. Zero cash for Zars right now. Um, middle supply stash went up, can be supported with tunnels, and we do see four scorpions here in the base of a general colonel, so both players having a little base race again, which I think the GLA player will win, uh, never ever base race a GLA is the golden rule in zero hour. 
fact it was just waiting for that barracks and now capturing it. Arms still are going down and that will put Zars on zero production buildings. So yeah, zero production buildings here for Zars. And General Colonel Our power is low. sitting on 2600. Losing that barracks, maybe losing that command center and the war factory as there's nothing here. Building up now a second command center. While these overlords clearing out the top, um, one tunnel one by one. Um, these workers still able to gather resources. I think that should be denied ASAP and the tunnel should be destroyed ASAP. Bomber going into nothing. Do not hit the units there. It does not hit the units there. War factory going down and these scorpions now decide to go away? Why are they going away? Dude, just attack the command center. Holy crap! Go for the command center. Okay, he's spotting now the right. He sees that building. He should go for the dozer and I think he's going for the dozer. These sc uh, scorpions are camouflaged of course. Overlord still um, bothering uh, with these tunnels, not going for that supply stash, but the Lotus is now going for the supply stash. Dozer has been taken out. Um, Scorpions not going for the scaffolds. Supply stash being captured and Zara selling it. And why are these Scorpions not destroying the scaffold? Why are they not destroying that command center? Another Dozer is able to get out. That was unnecessary. Okay, the house fight here now, uh, the ECM tank now needs to do its job really well. Scorpions now finally attacking the scaffold and Zars should be very careful that he's not getting bombed due to the um, nuke bomber. Okay, we do have two terrorists here chilling next to the command center, there, but they, they will not do anything against that. Also there are mines, but I do not think that uh, Zars knows about that. He's now throwing his terrorists into nothing, maybe? No, he's just chilling there. Dozer goes down, Overlord tanks still killing buildings. And these scorpions need to get the hell out of there. These scorpions do not stand the chance against the Overlord tanks. Terrorists now running into the death, uh, that is a waste of terrorists. Um, do not really know what he's doing right there. Um, more terrorists coming in. Um, that might be an opportunity with force fire. Oh, he takes out the Lotus. He takes out the ECM. What the fuck? That was a lucky hit with the terrorist. So nicely done there with the terrorist killing Lotus and ECM. But uh, the two overlords still standing uh, will not destroy the oil direct. That is a very important building. Um, barracks, two tunnels, three tunnels. Uh, that looks like a mine drop, maybe. Yeah, that was a mine drop. Scorpions sneaking in on the command center will hurt it now, but there is still the danger of a nuke bomber coming in. Those are repairing. There is a mine drop or an EMP drop, I think. And we do see an EMP drop. Overlord now coming in. These scorpions will get destroyed. And let's see. Supply stash uh, going up again. Oh, two supply stashes, four Zars. And Scorpions now destroyed. Oh, that was a big loss there for Zars. Command sent down full HP again. $25 for General Curl. He's uh, broke. Zars on 2500. He's not doing so bad, but he still has that problem called two overall tanks. Also, both overall tanks are high wetted. They have a propaganda tower and a Gatling tank, but no. Subliminal messaging upgrade. Okay, still gathering resources, still has that oil rig and the opportunity to throw down an arm stealer now. That arm stealer is urgently needed. There was a there chilling on the bottom, but what can he do? He cannot do anything. Um, this oil rig urgently needs to get destroyed. It's giving Zars too much cash. Barracks down, these two tunnels are under attack now. There's only one unit in the tunnels. Command center being cancelled. Arms still are going down. Palace now throwing being thrown down. And that will mean that he's going to build a Jam Kel. Jam Kel perfect. 
position against these two Overlord tanks with nothing else as the support. So yeah, once that palace is up and the Jam Kel is on the battlefield, that will mean the instant GG for uh, General Colonel. General Colonel, of course, doesn't know about this. He only sees what we can see right now. And he only sees many, many GLA buildings. Um, he sees money um, gathering and I think he's uh, thinking to himself, okay, that's GG. Stealing 8,800 there, uh, 1, there from his opponent. That was good. Enables him to build a power reactor. Okay, worker cleaning, uh, clearing out these mines. We do have enough worker here on the right. Palace at 73%. Can we see a barracks? There's a barracks, and I do think we will see the jump kill in a bit. Okay, overlord tanks just driving around here, killing more buildings. I think he should search for more important buildings. And instead, he's wasting time here in the middle by killing these workers. Okay, palace now up, and. There's the Jam Kel. 1500 now went into the barracks. And that will mean the GG. I do not see General Colonel coming back out of this. Um, he has no money. There's also a bike right there. Uh, maybe he tries to capture that command center. He doesn't know about the mines, so. Um, oh, okay, he knows about the mines. He's sending in a worker to clear out these mines. And General Colonel now tries to kill that worker. Overlord's coming into, bloop, there he goes, um, to destroy the bike, but he shouldn't waste his time with the bike, he should instead search for more buildings. There's Jam Kel. He's wasting his time now with the bike, driving around, and bike coming to Jam Kel, giving Jam Kel a quick ride, and yeah, that's GG. I mean, what will you do against that? Uh, two overlord tanks versus one GM versus one jump kill. That's GG. Okay, overlord tanks now splitting up. Maybe searching for important buildings. John Kell through the left, maybe sniping that dozer, which will not be able to do anything anymore. I mean, he has 300 cash, but will he do nothing? He even threw down EMP mines. Okay, the Overlord will now spot the palace and will destroy it. Um, German Kell now driving to the top as he sees these Overlord tanks and is going immediately for them. Um, nice decision as these Overlord tanks are very exposed. So why not just pick them off and boom, there goes the first Overlord, 3 star promoted, gone. And uh, it was even the uh, Gatling turret Overlord. Okay, General Colonel um, discovers the problem, is going uh, for the destruction of this Overlord artillery barrage coming in. Um, surprisingly on that palace, do not know why. Maybe he should have saved that artillery barrage instead he is wasting it on the palace. Uh, would have been just two shots left to de destroy the palace. Uh, don't, know, don't even know what he's doing there. Anyway, uh, RBG trying to get that overlap which is destroyed. Um, barracks going up there, barracks down the top. Scaffold down the bottom and all these overlords are gone. Worker now is a lucky overlord driver. Jam Kel did his job well and the uh, general colonel without any unit left. But we did see games in the past where a command center won the game versus an active player. For example, Noob Fighter versus someone else on um, Forgotten Forest. That was a good match, and I think Noob Fighter won that match with just a command center. Was very entertaining to watch. Um, those are now being picked off. Jam Kel coming in, sniping another dozer maybe. And yeah, now it's just <laughs> Overlord Tank and the Rebel versus the Command Center. Overlord Tank running into these mines, losing the Overlord Tank. Oh my god. But I know, but I mean, that can happen. That can happen. Rebel now versus the Command Center, and those are, um, those will clearly win that match. Those are just needs to repair. Um, 
Sars on 800 cash, he has an RPG, barracks, barracks, and uh, cannot gather any more supplies. Just this one jump, Kel, who will snipe that dozer now. Boom, and the rebel just needs to destroy the command center now very slowly. The nuke bomber will take out that rebel. There is the nuke bomber, is dropping these uh, bombs. Jump, Kel, and rebel being destroyed, uh, being killed there. Even the dozer is gone. And um, that barracks needs to train two more RPGs. Maybe sell that barracks and build three RPGs. Then split them up and destroy that command center. One RPG there. Worker there. Could maybe throw down a tunnel there next to the command center. Okay, General Colonel for some reason sees this area. I have no idea why, as there's nothing there. Ah, okay, now it gets cleared. Ah, uh, yeah, there's... <laughs> he's even clicking with the beacon. Yeah, there's nothing General Colonel can do. He needs to wait for another bomber, but his command center is very hurt, and I do not see any comeback from General Colonel now. He has used his... Um, he has used his bomber, and now he needs to wait for the kill. Another RPG coming in, and Zaz is almost there to build another RPG, but he shouldn't sell, uh, if I take another thought about it, he shouldn't sell the barracks the second, as an artillery barrage could end this game. So he needs to keep these two barracks and um, end this game with two RPGs. Okay, he's going a bit for the mines there, do not know why. Uh, what is he doing? Ah, okay, so he's searching for an area so he can get around that. Oh, very closely passing these mines, a third RPG is coming in. And yeah, that's the GG. One from the left, one from the right. Mines are clear, that command center is going down. Nothing for General Colonel to do. Maybe throw down another nuke bomber, that's it. That's, that's GG. Okay, command center entering the red, the red area, but yeah, that's CG. He cannot do anything anymore. RPG stopping to shoot. Maybe he just wrote down something. I think they are just chatting there, saying GG, nice game, well played. Um, and now they are ending it. Uh, no nuke bomber coming in, even a rebel coming in. Two barracks is still there, so yeah, that's the end. Okay, we do see an artillery barrage randomly on something, and there's the GG. General Colonel has been defeated, beacon being thrown down for no reason. And that was it! I do have to note that we just gave this replay a silver lately. So, real, uh, silver statues um, on gameplays.org. And we even opened up a gold um, vote for this replay. After reviewing, uh, reviewing this replay, I do have to say no to gold because it was, it was sloppy. I mean, General Colonel throwing so many overlords to the meat grinder, uh, meat grinder. There was no subliminal messaging upgrade, even though it only costs 500 overlords. Wasted. I'm no. I know. I just said that a second time now. Um, Oilerex, way too long in the game. Um, Palace, 17 minute mark, Palace, then no garrison, um, Jam Kel very late, Overlords just driving around and not worrying about Jam Kel in the end, um, yeah, was was sloppy on both sides, but in the end was entertaining to watch, um, came down to the last building there between both players, so gave it an ent entertaining value in the end and deserved the silver in my opinion but no gold. But it was a nice watch. So that was the match between SARS and General Colonel. Um, Nuke versus uh, GLA. And I thank you very much for watching. This has been like always your CNC HD. If you want to watch this replay again, check out the video description down below. And yeah, till the next time. 
you know, see you in the HD and bye bye.